participation in golf is down tremendously. Hundreds of courses have closed, right. but there is a core of true believers that will pay the money, that are able to pay the money to keep going. Well, that's right. You're a true believer, right? You like well, to get out on the I golf play course. The money. Your Irish roots. <laughs> um, City courses. Right, exactly. I mean, it is, a, it is a game that people are still willing to play and eager to play, and I think most importantly, willing to spend money on, you know, to have these memberships. And that's part of what's very attractive to a private equity buyer here is this ongoing recurring revenue that's coming in through these clubs and putting them all together, you're talking about real money here. Yeah, when you think about it, it's a real sort of lease, it's a real renter is kind of a market. So you have all of these people, What you, in, your, in, in the story, it's something like 430,000 members of places like Mission Hills in California paying dues every year, plus restaurant fees. It's a bit like running a co-op, so why wouldn't it work for these courses? Well, it should work, and it also should work in terms of a scalable business, right? You know, what you've seen with this company in particular is they've been pretty acquisitive. And also, keep in mind, private equity is in the business of making contrarian bets, right? And they also don't need golf to be popular forever. They need it to be popular for another five to seven years to be growing in a way and growing the company in a way that they can sell it or take it public, take it public public again uh, down the line. Yeah, so they just need to streamline it a little bit. I mean, there are certain fixed costs for golf, but once the architecture has been done and the you know the land has been bought, surely it's just a fixed cost after that. Well, that's exactly right. And also keep in mind that Club Corp, while best known for its golf courses, they also have private clubs all around the country. And so there's some geographic and also product diversity here. And so you're talking about dining clubs and social clubs. And even in this age of Snapchat and Facebook and Twitter and all that, people People do really want to get together. I think if you look at what you've seen in the broader fitness industry with the rise of boutiques and Soul Cycle and CrossFit and those sorts of things like that, people aren't giving up on socializing and people aren't giving up on socializing around the idea of exercising. Nike 